What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks again for tuning in. Today we're going to be recapping the trades from today. There were no live trades from today's session, but we do have the trade recaps for you if you guys would like to stick along and go over those with us. So today we traded uh, three tickers, VVPR, LIZI, and XL. FCEL was an accidental fat finger. Of course, I always have to do it every once in a while, right? So we traded VVPR for $1,921 and we traded LIZI for $4,782 in the green and then we lost $33 on XL. And the only reason I actually traded XL was just because I wanted to join the momentum and FOMO with the entire market. And so I really just jumped in with like tiny shares just to see what was gonna happen. And ended up resulting in losing 33 bucks. So we're gonna cover those trades right now. So let's essentially get started. So we'll start here with VVPR. So VVPR was a short. So this morning, VVPR squeezes all the way up to a high of 1178. I go short about a thousand shares as we drop from the highs here and we go all the way down to a low of 1047. I cover the 900 shares. That gets me up to about $700 green on the stock. And then I wait until the open. We open up, I start shorting the first green candle. We come down a little bit more. I short another couple hundred shares. We drop out, I do not cover. We squeeze up on this candle and I start to go short more on this candle. Eventually got into a position of 2,500 shares short. We drop out, I covered all my shares pretty much into this dip here. Didn't catch the last moving drop, but covered into this drop. So there were two short trades on VVPR to net $1,900 green. It was a short all the way up towards the highs pre-market, covering into our first kind of logical drop pre-market, took off most of the shares, then re-entered short first green candle on the day, and then also entered uh, more short on the next kind of squeeze candle that took out most of the shorts, I stayed in and then we flushed out and I covered the trade. All right, so what were the reasons for shorting uh, where we were shorting? Why, why would we short where we were shorting? All right, so if you look at the screen on the right, we're gonna go and look at all the long-term trending resistance for this stock. All right, now, if you look at the daily chart, it, it appears that, yeah, so just straightforward, let me go to the four hour chart here, one second. All right, so if we look at the four hour chart, the four hour chart, we just got up to the regression trend um, and slightly through it. So the regression trend is usually gonna be a little bit of a resistance mark. So when we were trading over the price of 1045, I'm like, you know what, this, this kind of seems a little overbought. And then when I looked at the daily chart, the price of the stock went all the way as high as 1170. You can't see it here, but the price really went all the way up to a high of 1178. So let me mark 1178. That's 1174, but it's good enough. So this is really where the stock went pre-market, okay? And if you look at the right chart, you will see that this orange line comes into play at 1224. So we started shorting here in anticipation that we wouldn't go to 1224, but we kept a size of just about 900 to 1,000 shares short here on the top, willing to see it all the way to uh, $12.20 to go in full size of a 2,500 share short. So we started shorting on the highs pre-market with VVPR, weren't positive that it was gonna be the absolute top, so we did not go full size in the event we actually squeezed a little higher to our stronger, lower risk resistance point, we would leverage up size and go in full size off the 1220. Well, it didn't go to 1220, it just dropped out and then we covered the 900 shares and then just remained shorting into the open, but essentially the main purpose for shorting VVPR is it was just a straight shot up pre-market, got way overbought, and it was coming into long-term trending resistance, so we just go short. All right, next one on the list is LIZI, which I, I really didn't even trade that well. Um, if I did this properly today, I probably would have made fifteen twenty thousand dollars $20,000, but I suck, so. Um, so, so essentially here with uh, LIZI, I started shorting way too early. I was just antsy to trade this morning and it, it almost cost me. So I started shorting LIZI about right here um, at about like 464, realized I was wrong, let it squeeze me all the way up to our longer term trending resistance. When we got to the longer term trending resistance and I hammered it in, you know, like up to 10, 12,000 shares short and then I caught most of this fading drop here to net 4,000 bucks. So 
This one I actually did wrong initially and then had to actually hold through going red, couple thousand, and then leverage up size on the stronger resistance, catch the fading move to turn it into a positive trade, which netted 4,780 bucks. So um, the reason that I started shorting here around like uh, the 440s and 460s was because we had this half standard deviation price. And I should have known at the time that that was completely incorrect to do, but I was a little antsy to trade this morning and that's probably what I had to do with it. So I ended up going short around like 450s, 460s and realized like, oh, it's gonna go all the way to 5, 525. So that's where it's going. So I didn't short anymore. I just waited for it to go to 525. Once we got to the resistance, you can see that it just consolidated here, consolidated here, consolidated here. And we had a little flag break, retest the resistance at 525 and then it just completely flushed out. So essentially short too soon, held through the squeeze, re-leveraged up on the stronger resistance, caught the flush down, covered the move for a total of 4,000. 700 bucks and then the trade with xl was just pretty much pointless but we can cover it so essentially the whole entire world was having fomo on this so i'm like i want to join the fomo why not so you know we squeezed up we crashed i figured there'd be a bounce i started buying on like this candle here and essentially just just took the loss when it dropped out a little bit it was pointless it was really just me wanting to just click a bunch of buttons and do something and uh it didn't really result in anything. So it's a little bit of a slower day here as we're going into the Christmas kind of holiday season, if you may. So tomorrow morning, there's probably not going to be a ton of volatility. We might have a few pre-market movers, and I would assume the day is probably going to be uh, somewhat dead. So tomorrow morning, just going to try to come in, nail a couple trades pre-market, then be done with the day, and then go enjoy uh, the rest of the time off with the family. So that is today's recap. Uh, obviously a little smaller than what the other days have been in terms of stocks traded, but that's because we're going into this holiday season. Things are a little bit slow, but we are wrapping up the day here at $6,600 green. Traded quite a bit with a lot of size. Um, so really right about $6,200 green on the day overall. But with that being said, that's going to mark I think the 11th green day in a row for me. Uh, the only red day I've had this month uh, was towards the beginning of the month, and that's because I fat fingered 4,000 shares into the stock SPCE, which actually, if I would have held, would have turned into like an $8,000 win. Uh, but the only red day we've had this month of December uh, was earlier in the month due to a fat finger on the stock SPCE. Other than that, we've had pretty much every single day of this month has been green. So really just hoping to keep that consistency going as long as I just continue to follow my strategy. Don't do anything too crazy. Don't over leverage too soon. And don't do things like I did today, which was short a stock way too soon. Then we should pretty much be able to continue this green streak. So uh, let's hope we push it up to 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. You know, let's do a whole year green. That would be awesome, right? So we'll see. I highly doubt that happens, but I'm happy. Six grand of the day, one red day for the month. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, everybody, thank you again for tuning in. Make sure to hit the thumbs up button. And if you've been interested in joining Boiler Room Trading to get more edge on the market, we are going to be having a holiday Christmas sale coming up the day after Christmas. We'll release all the coupon codes and all the links you guys can follow. We'll make sure they're in the description below. We'll also mention that on our couple of our next videos so you guys don't forget. If you guys want to join us and then any of the custom scripts we have, they're going to all go discount. So pretty much everything we have will be on sale during this next little Christmas sale if you're interested. That being said, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.